What is up guys, welcome back to another video. And uh, yeah, so if you guys didn't watch my last video, I created a rug where it was the hundreds bomb logo or the bomb logo of the hundreds. I, I don't know how to explain it, but if you guys haven't watched that, go ahead and go back to my last video. Uh, but for this video, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna show you guys a quick little time-lapse on me creating the box to get it shipped out and then taking it to the post office. Yeah, so it's not gonna be really detailed just because I already have a video that's super detailed on my video. So if you guys wanna check that out, go back to my videos and it's somewhere there where I show you guys from the beginning to the end on how to create the box and all that stuff. Uh, but I'm just gonna, you know, basically run through on how I'm gonna do this. So I went to Home Depot, got two boxes, medium size, I have this ruler and I have this um, blade so that's technically all you need oh and tape you need tape of course yeah that's all you need so I'm gonna get started and then um, I might buy the shipping label here on my computer but I'm not sure if my printer works if it doesn't work I'm gonna go straight to the post office and get it shipped there I've never done it like that before but I'm pretty sure you could just take a box and they'll create the shipping label and charge you there but um yeah let's uh, let's get started and uh, let's see what we get into all right, so the first thing I like to do before I create a box for something is I like to roll it to see what's the smallest size I can get it down to. Just because if you have a bigger box, obviously they're gonna charge you more, so you wanna make it as small as possible. I think the best way to roll it's gonna be this way. So let's see. All right, maybe tuck this in, tuck that in. All right, so look, 32 inches. And then you wanna see the width or I guess you could call it the height. Um, 32 by, I would say seven inches. So now that this is done. All right, so what I'm gonna do here is um, I'm gonna measure 14 inches because 14 divided by two is seven. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna, at the seven mark, I'm gonna cut it down slightly just so I can get a good fold on it. So I'm gonna do two sections that are 14, if that makes sense, because it's seven, 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 obviously four sides. And then uh, like 32. Oh, it's gonna be perfect. This is actually like 31 and a half. So I think that should be fine. Also, if it doesn't make any sense, uh, let me know in the comments down below and I'll try my best to, I guess, make another video. Um, or I'll respond to your comments. Perfect. So this here is well, 14 and 3 quarters. Now I'm going to do another 14 and 3 quarters. And now what I'm going to do is basically divide that in half. Find the half point, mark it, do a cut, and then fold it. All right, so at this point right here, what you don't want to do is you don't want to cut it all the way through. All you want to do is just cut the first layer of the box so that way you're able to bend it. I hope that makes sense. Check this out. So now that you cut the first layer, it's easily able to be bent. And you got your first half of the box. All right, there we go. Now that's the second half. And that's how you get a box. Now the last part is to see if we could create a, a square to cover this section and this section. Before we do so, let me see if uh, I have to make the box bigger or smaller. Let's try to fit the rug in. All right, so I just put the rug in here to see if I needed to make it a little bit bigger or smaller. And it turns out that we made the box a little bit bigger than we should have, uh, but it's okay. Um, I'm gonna take off this amount off and then uh, we should be good. It's still a little bit spacious inside. I would usually make it a little bit more smaller, but it's not a deal breaker. All right, so I just finished creating the two pieces. Um, obviously that's gonna go on top. This one's gonna go on the bottom and then seal it up and it's ready to get shipped. So let's just tape this up and do the final adjustments and we should be ready to go. All right, so the bottom's done, the bottom's secured. Time to throw this bad boy in there. Nice and packed. All right, finally done. Done, packaged, ready to go. 
Uh, now I just have to check to see if my printer works, if it works. If my printer works, I'll print out the label. And if it doesn't work, then we'll head over to the post office and get it printed over there. All right, so my printer doesn't work, so we're gonna have to go over to the post office and hopefully get it shipped. I've never done it like that, but I think we should be able to. Um, I guess you guys will tie along and we'll figure it out together. So let's head over there. Right, so usually when you do your own shipping label, you have to find the measurements of the box, the width, the height, um, the length, and then you have to find out the ounces. I believe it's the ounces, but obviously my printer doesn't work, so I can't print the label. So now on my way to the post office, and I'm more than sure they obviously take care of that. I just do know that they charge a little bit more for buying the shipping label. But I mean, at this point, I really can't do anything unless I go buy another printer, um, which might not happen. But yeah, so let's head over there and let's see if uh, they could figure that out. If not, then I guess we'll have to figure something else. Uh, so it worked. I was able to ship it from the store. One thing I like to do all the time is uh, every time I do send a box out, um, I like to send the customer their shipping number right on the spot so they know that I sent it along with the receipt. So they know, you know, that, you know, I sent it out there and like I'm not just, you know, scamming people because I'm pretty sure people do that. Let's, uh, let's head home. I'm gonna edit this video, upload it, and then see who else wants a rug. So like I said, if you guys want a rug, message me on Instagram at 95shoots. And with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.